What's up guys, Kenmar95 here bringing you another episode. Today's episode we have a technical analysis on NEO to BTC. It's currently up about 2% for the day. If we're looking at USD value, we're up about 4%. Really quick though, let's go ahead and look at the market. Market cap sitting at $351 billion. Today's volume is $20.9 billion. Bitcoin dominance almost at 40%, sitting at 39.8. Bitcoin up 2% for the day, sitting at 8200 Ethereum up 6%, sitting at 545 Ripple up 7 Litecoin up, well, I'm sorry. Bitcoin Cash up 12 almost. Dang, that's crazy. Litecoin up 4, EOS up 5, Cardano up 7, Lumens up 6, IOTA up 6, NEO, that's the one that we're talking about today, up 4, Monero up 5. Big winners today, Monaco up 59, Puni X up 29, Mithra up 7, or I'm sorry, 27, Smart Cash up 27. Big losers, Nucleus down 7, and Centrality down 6, and Verge down 4. NEO, market cap sitting at 4.7 billion, today's volume is 176 million, circulating supply 65 million, total supply 100 million, max supply 100 million. Major exchanges here, Binance, Upbit, Bifinex, CoinEx, or sorry, CoinEgg, uh, Bittrex, Hyobi, Qcoin, and HitBTC, looks like are the major exchanges. Let's go ahead and look at some price action. Ooh, looks like we're going to be forming a, um, a higher high here, guys. Go ahead and switch over to the 4-hour really quick. Bottom 1, bottom 2. This high beat this high. Higher low. So it looks like we'll be trying to beat this high and once we beat this high. So the next possible add, there's, I'd probably wait for a break and close above uh, 8,350. Once we do break and close above this level, uh, should be good to go. Only because I already added here. If you really wanted to, I guess you could wait for a break and close above 8,250. But once we do break this level, it should be good to go. And I don't think Bitcoin will re be returning to these prices. But remember, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. And taking a look at Ethereum here, looks like we're finally going to get that break and close above this level here. We've been waiting for this break and close above this level so we can add to our position. Let's go ahead and switch over to the four hours. We oops. See if we have a four hour close above this. Looks like we do. Oops, undo that, block that. So we broke above this line, came back down to test it for support, and it looks like we're actually gonna continue to go. So I'm actually gonna be adding to my position there. And Litecoin. Litecoin straight actually activated the other day. So if anything, I think we're just in profit. Yeah, trade activated here. We're about 142, so you know we're making our way. Looks like crypto is back, and our coin of the day today, guys, Neo to BTC on the daily. Bitrix is the broker we're currently looking at. Let me go ahead and zoom out, show you guys what I'm seeing. So what we had here was a nice little, um, well, could have been a descending, uh, you know, parallel, a bearish parallel uh, descending. Sorry, I can't talk. I just woke up. Anyways, um, it could have been a nice little bearish trend that we were respecting however we broke out of it and now it looks like we're actually coming back up to test it if it would have continued so that's kind of the reason I left my line there this is also a major resistance here at about um, 93,000 satoshis sorry 930,000 satoshis um, so that's why I also left that there so we're in a red zone and we're touching a trend line so we're gonna have to wait and see what this turns or how this turns out but I'm expecting a huge breakout I'm gonna go back to the daily really quick as you can tell, momentum has definitely started to shift towards the upside. Formed a higher high, higher low, so we're just waiting to form our new higher high. Let's go ahead and switch over to the 4-hour. So when's the next be uh, best possible add? So once we get that break and close above 91,000, yeah, I'm sorry, 917,000, right? It's going to be 1, 2, 3, yeah. Once we break and close above 917,000 uh, Satoshis on the 4-hour, we should be good to go. But where do I see this coin going in 2018? Neo, I feel like is, as you can tell from its drop, it's you know it's at a huge sell, and I definitely just expect it to come back up to its all-time highs here in 2018. However, I feel like that's not even that you know that's out of the picture. That's most likely going to be blown, and will most likely that's my first target. My second target's right up here, at about 22 or 220, right about here. But remember, folks, this is just my personal opinion. I am not a financial advisor. Wait for that break and close above. Let me go ahead and back to the four hour. Wait for that break and close above 90. Oh, 
915. I'm sorry. 920. Wait for that break and close above 920 on the 4 hour, and you should be good to go. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to re steam upvote. Comment down below what kind of coins you guys are trying to see. If you guys are on YouTube, make sure you guys are subscribed. If you have post notifications turned on, and you give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, guys, make sure you guys are commenting down below how I can improve this channel. I've been really trying to sit and think on how I can make this channel better. So uh, please uh, leave your thoughts down below. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.